Hey everyone, Dr. Skylar Baku. In this video, I'm talking about the infrared light therapy. It's something that is, has been around for a long time now, and there's over 30,000 studies on PubMed and, and journals for um, what low-level light therapy does to the body and healing. So it's a really great modality. Again, something that's been around for a long time. Um, something, that, one of the biggest ways that we use it in the office is we, we, tr we see a lot of um, thyroid cases, especially hypothyroid, Hashimoto's um, autoimmune thyroid. And there were some uh, pretty amazing studies that showed light therapy, red light therapy on the thyroid uh, can improve, not only can um, increase thyroid hormone production, T4 and T3, but also even showed it would lower the antibodies for thyroid, TPO antibodies in, in just a few months. So it's something that you can put a direct application there. Sometimes we'll put it on the back of the head for the brain stem. Um, you could put it, you know, on a wound or an area of pain. We don't use it a lot like that, but um, something like what Susie's doing is we'll put it right on the thyroid, and which is something you do have to be careful. So I wouldn't, and I wouldn't just blindly do that. I would talk to your practitioner first or ask us, give us a call. But when we know what we're dealing with, um, with that particular person, sometimes this is going to be a huge way to increase that thyroid um, hormone production on its own just with the red light. So hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thanks so much for watching.